Hello, hello YouTube. It's Kobe Gecko, and so in today's video, I'll be describing the types of people you get in restaurants. And I can, I'm not talking about you know your regular people. I'm talking about your people you can actually categorize. Put in a category, categorize, in, in you know categorize. Um, you know, I mean like, this one, like, you know, I mean you go into a restaurant like such. You're not going there to cause a scene for no reason. Okay, so. Like this video if you can, if you know people that act like this in the following ways which I'm going to describe or people that, you know, you can relate to if you are honest about it, you know. So just like and then maybe comment an experience you've had, either seeing this happen or you were one of those people. Okay, let's begin. So this person, I would actually call them the, you know, impatient energized bunny, you know, they're like, looking through the menu like okay i'm having that and look at everyone else like okay what you having what you having what you having what you having have you decided oh my god are you having that for real you don't want to change your mind are you sure you're having that because i'm not going to have you exchange it when they come to collect your order you know it's that, that person that will like rush everyone to make sure they know what they're having so when the waiter comes this person doesn't have to wait to place their order and they're usually the first person to order their food Okay, second person is the very confused snail. Why are they a confused snail? Firstly, they don't know what they want to order. And they're taking their own sweet time. They're usually the last person to order. It's that person that does this on the menu. It's like, mm, oh, oh, no, I've had that before. I've had that. Um, yeah, yeah, mm. And you know, and then they try and make conversations with other people to like, you know, try and find something to order. It's like, what are you gonna have? And I, oh, okay. No, 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 no I'm, I'm just looking, just browsing over the menu. Um, uh, I don't know, I, I, what? You know, I mean, really, make up your mind. What do you feel like having, you know? <sighs> then you get the whole self-conscious era. It's like, you know, they look over the menu and think, oh, if I eat that, I'm gonna gain this. And then, I don't like that, but I'm allergic to this, and it's like, oh my god, like, you know, it's like this person needs a freaking warning booklet when they sit down to order food, or if you're going to take this person somewhere, they need to come with a warning manual, you know, um, you know, it's the person who's like, oh my god, there's so many carbs in this, oh my god, there's so much sugar in this, and like, wait, hi, can you please find out what is the total fat percentage of this of this meal item? I need to know because I've seen a lot of names here and I haven't seen the word fat mentioned. Can you please find out for me? Uh, what? Then you get the people that drive me crazy. It's those banting people. I'm calling them those banting people, you know. I mean... And I, I don't understand how does banting help you with your life? It's this whole new dietary thing that you're doing, either for one of two options it's to follow the other banting people or for your personal health gain. I mean, I don't understand why must you cut down on certain nutrients that your body actually needs in order to function. Like, completely, it's like, oh no, I can't have carbs. Like, do you have a banting menu? Like, oh, you don't? Oh, okay. Do you know, would you recommend any restaurants that do have? Eventually, there's the order. Okay, I'll have a salad. Like, like, like what? Like, really? Like, after all of, like, after, like, you know, interrogating the, the people in the restaurant, interrogating the waiter, you go with the salad. Okay. Fifth and final person, I think is the fourth person, may have gone to number six, but five or six, the last person is the rage buster okay a rage buster is basically it's that person that when the food comes wrong they throw a complete scene they break out they lose it they ooh, the weeds are coming out you know something that just takes them off about the way this thing looks whether it be the presentation or how it tastes or they go on about it like they're the ones who made it look okay it's not the waiter's fault it's the chef you want to blame someone blame the chef do not blame the waiter if your food comes to you sloppy okay um Plain and simple. That's how it works, you guys. The waiter is the messenger. The chef delivered it. No, wait. No. The chef sent it. The waiter is the messenger system. Okay? Don't blame the system. Blame the sender. Okay? I mean, 
But the, like you know, like okay, I'll have this. There you go. This person's getting ticked off because the food's taking forever. Guys, if if you're sitting down in a restaurant, do not expect fast food, okay? This is not KFC one piece tears, okay? It's not. Okay? It's not Pizza Hut, Burger King. It's not fast food. It's food that's made in the kitchen where each element is cooked and added in. Those things take time. It's not one of those like futurist machines. Push it, beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, food's done. No, okay? The food takes quality time to be made, okay? It's a different story if your food's made, takes a while, comes to you, and it's either raw, overcooked, burnt, undercooked, or it's like a freaking crispy potato chip, right? You're going to go to a restaurant. You're going to sit down. It's a fancy restaurant. You have to wait until your food comes. All right. Oh, wait. Now the... So... Food comes, and then you're like, you taste it, like, mm -mm, this isn't right, this isn't right. You know, you're going to go on about it like it's the end of the world. It's a plate of food. We get it, you wait it long. That's why they bring you breads, you know. That's why they bring you breads or little snacks on the table, so you don't have to fight with the waiter about it. I am simple, okay? All right. Now, the final person is the one that actually gets on my nerve. My nerves wasn't the banting people, but it's actually quite funny to watch. It's the ones who complain about every single thing that's on that plate. Alright, so food comes, and like, this is what I wanted? Can I see the menu, please? Like, why doesn't it look like the picture? And I'm like, if you're sitting with those person, and it's like, I just think myself. Did you order it for how it looked on the picture or because of what's in the description? And I'm just thinking, you know, description and picture, not ex in a menu. It's a different story if it's just a franchise or a branch of that franchise, okay? I mean, you can't expect a picture that was professionally photographed to come out looking like it was an Instagram filter appearing right in front of you, okay? That's what you have Instagram for, to Instagram this picture of this food and filter it, all right? That, that's your job to do. It's not your job to tell the waiter, why doesn't my food look as high damp as that picture? It doesn't work like that, you guys. It does not work like that, okay? So, <clears throat> that's, you know, it's, it's just something to look at, you know? So, like, I, like, you know, you know, it's, it's that, okay? Another person, yeah, so I don't know when I'm gonna get to this final person, but anyway. I just add it in, you know. Another person that you get is the one that I call the photographer of the table, you know. So say for example, you and your friends go out, you all put in a bit of money to <clears throat> buy some food, and you're all sitting there in a nice restaurant and eating together like civilized people. Then you have the one friend who will take out their phone and be taking pictures of everything. How the Soviets look, how the salt shakers look, how you guys look supping your milkshakes, or how you guys look drinking your cocktails. Or when the food comes, like, oh, no, no, don't eat, don't eat, don't eat. I need to take pictures for so my Instagram. It's like, you know, that's, that's the one person that's not supposed to have a phone on them. If they're going to be photographing, photographing you, taking every bite. Like, no, no, oh, I didn't get you, your eyes were closed. Can you take another bite so I can get a picture? How does that work? You're going there to eat, not to be photographed when you're eating. It's, it's distracting, you know? Food's meant to go in, not the chair and wait for flies to set. And then it's ready to go in. No, 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 no. It doesn't work. So, guys, okay, that was the final pasta. I can't think of another one. But if you can think of another cringy moment when you go to a restaurant or a cringy type of person, comment it down below. So, like at this video, comment below. Share it. Follow me on my Instagram. The, the, in my Instagram is below. My Twitter is below. Follow me on Twitter. Um, and, you know, stay awesome, you guys.